Look how cool these rocks are. Glacier rocks. Yeah. Awesome. fly is busted the uh oh man i don't know i was unzipping it this morning and it just kind of untatched i don't know how well this is going to show up but it's not it's no longer in the zipper the zipper is on its own so oh uh, i don't know i did a quick search it doesn't look like it's uh something i can just patch up here looks like um I don't know. I'll have to figure that out next time I am in a town. So it's like, uh, I don't know. That's annoying. But uh, I can still I can still use it if I, uh, well, I can still, uh, I don't know. I can still, you know, bring these things together. And then I can, I can attach these two. And I can put the stake through these two loops. And then tighten it out. So it should still work in the rain, but uh, I just can't use that side. Uh, what's uh, scary is the other side is also seems to be presenting a similar issue if I'm not careful. All right, the reason we're all here, <laughs> the, the Trapper John Shelter Privy. It's pretty funny. <laughs> they have... Uh, that's an old chair they cut a hole in it. It's pretty cool. Nice little privy. Four stars. Really nice pool down there too, but uh, oh, it's calling. But I think not today. <clears throat> Got massive, whew, steep climb whew, right now. It's a tough one. It's a doozy, whew. and uh, the bugs are real obnoxious. It's like you're focusing and trying to focus on where your feet are going, trying to focus on where your poles are going, focus on your breathing, trying to take the right steps and as relaxed and healing as possible. And then bugs flying in and out of your ears and in and out of your eyes, <laughs> making it all the more difficult. Ah, we kind of reached a, a first to summit. I believe there's a there's another summit to climb. Whew, we're getting back to the rocks. I'm curious, I'm curious to see the transition. We're doing lots of dirt stuff lately, but uh, it's gonna get rocky soon. And then, uh, so this is a fun little 
transition moment. So I'm gonna see what that, if that, like, if it kind of goes back and forth, if it kind of transitions into more rocks or what that's gonna look like. But it's, it's fun to notice the transitioning. But yeah, you can see, still got, gotta get over that guy. Whew. Oh, this actually, this would have been a pretty awesome spot last night. Oh, the cowboy camp up here. Wow. That would have been sweet. Oh. Get a beautiful sunrise. Wow. That was, that's where the sunrise would have came up. That would have been awesome. And also I heard there was like, I can't remember. There was a specific meteor shower that was happening last night. But also like a, a major one. And then there's, um, then there's like three other... Uh, smaller ones so one of the people who were at the shelter last night actually did some night hiking uh, without their backpack back to Holt's Ledge to see if they could enjoy the the stars and the and the meteors a little bit more progress it's cool you can see where we're going now pretty easy we're going uh, over there so we're gonna we're gonna go down there, boop, 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 boop. Walk along there, climb up. There's a fire tower around there. And then I guess we're probably gonna go down the other side. Boop. Uh, so that's like the next six miles or so. Four miles maybe. Cheers. Nice. These are cool. <laughs> Trees are uprooted. It's like, whoa. More steep climbing. Whew. These metal whew, steps. Huh. All right. Huh. Oh, there's a privy. I don't think I need one, but that's cool. We're near the some shelter. Smart Mountain Shelter, and here we have the fire tower. Oh, nice. nice place. But as far as 
where the trail goes. But this is the cool Smart Mountain Cabin. Look at this cute little tiling. Ooh. Huh. Huh. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. Let's see, is it open? Let's see, is it open? Oh! Awesome! <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah, nice little place. Very cool. Got a, a garbage bag. That seems good. <laughs> right, we're on our way again. And these pine summits, man, are just gorgeous. Oh, man, I love them. So something interesting happened, I guess this morning, which was um, the guy came in last night when I was already, uh, I guess sleeping, I didn't hear him. And he was just like coming in achy. He was like, ow, 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 just every step. He was, um, it was hot yesterday. It's hot today too, but I think, I think it's less humid. So yesterday was, it was a lot of sweating. I was <laughs> constantly dripping, I don't remember not dripping yesterday it was just all day so anyway that was happening for everyone and he didn't have i don't know enough water he didn't have enough um electrolyte stuff he didn't have any you know gatorade or the noon pills or the like propel powders or anything so he you know he was short on whatever he needed uh so anyway this morning he <laughs> To, I heard the other guy ask, like, how are you doing? And how are you doing? And he's like, I'm feeling better. And then uh, I asked what was going on. heard that story. And so I said, I had, um, well, I have some noon pills um, that, I like, you know, they dissolve in the water and give it electrolytes and sugars and whatever. Uh, so, uh, and it helps replenish what you're losing in your sweat. And, um, and so I gave him a pill and a half. Cause I had like a half a pill in there and I think I had two, two and a half pills left or three and a half. I can't remember. Uh, so I gave him one and a half and I had either a pill or two left. And, um, and I was like, okay, hopefully that helps. And, um, so he said, thanks. But then the interesting thing is that after that, the other guy said, oh, here, I have, uh, I have some propel powders. I can, I can give them to you. And I was like, oh, that was neat. Let's see. I wonder if that would have happened, you know, without, you know, someone else giving first I wonder and um, and then the reason I gave possibly is I had the thought in my head something from the yellow deli that um, Hanuk had said and it was um, he said um, uh, someone asked him like what would be your advice you know to to um, to anyone you know leaving hiking or leaving the yellow deli and he said you know just be you know in service to others if someone like out there on the trail if someone needs water give them water if someone needs food and you can give them food um and so so i had that thought in my head and i said if i have you know i have electrolyte stuff let me give electrolyte stuff um and that was like the little thing that pushed me over the hesitation hump of you know getting rid of something that i also want to have <laughs> but um but yeah it was very you know I would I feel much better um, having given than if I had you know held on to it but uh, what was interesting again is uh, he caught up to me at a water at that water spot uh, a bit ago now um, and and uh, he made it a point to let me know hey I gave I gave that guy some propel powders and I was like that's cool but it's interesting that he felt the need to like kind of say something about it that was I don't know, just all of that, you know, paying it forward, one nice deed leading to another, leading to another kind of idea that exists. Um, you know, these things happen, um, mostly subconsciously. So it's, it's pretty cool to, to see it in action. Awesome water source. Oh man, there's a pool right down there. Boop. We're gonna go check that out. Over there in the pool. Gonna go take a dip. Got a bunch of people from the shelter last night. All right, we've made it. 
I'm good. Hey, hey, this is neat. I hope I don't slip and fall and crack my head open. <laughs> it's one of those things where you say it. Oh, and then it just happens because you said it. All right. I also have this bread. It's not helping things at all. <laughs> I want to eat it though while I'm sitting in the water. Ooh, there we go. Look how cool these rocks are. Glacier rocks. Awesome. Nice. So today is like two big, two big climbs and downhills uh, with a water break in the middle. <laughs> uh, and uh, maybe it's gonna be too late. I was like, maybe a water break at the end, but yeah, that's not, no, no, it's already five o'clock. And uh, today's like a 15 mile day. I just did past the 12 mile point. Thought about stopping because there's something called the Hexacube Shelter. And I was lucky enough for someone to be coming down from, um, you know, checking it out. And he was saying it's like a pretty cool shelter. Kind of, uh, whew, forgot to mention. I'm pushing on two reasons. One is um, I'm trying to build up some leg, some uh, more leg strength, getting ready for the whites. And um, so I gotta finish climbing this second big hill. And then, um, and then, um, oh yeah, there's a big group, that group that was at the shelter yesterday. And at the water, they, um, they're, they're a little loud and stuff. They're fun, but they might end up staying at that shelter. Um, they were, they spent, like, they left at like 5 a.m. Or 6 a.m. maybe to, um, to beat the heat. And then they, uh, they spent all day at that water having fun. So they might end up calling it at the Hexacube. And then uh, they'll have a good time there. Here's all those rocks I was talking about. The transition is happening. Look like a, uh, one of the falcons being protected. A small, ooh, what was the falcon at the uh, Holtz Ledge yesterday? That was like their nice breeding ground. Oh, here we go. I hope this is the summit. There might be more. Here's a massive rock slab. Have fun. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice view. And the sun is beating on me. Looks like we're into the descent. All right, that descent was not a descent. It was very temporary. And that summit 
May not have been any summit. Looks like just a mind fuck. And, oh, maybe we're going up to another summit. I don't know. I'm confused. Hey, it says yeah, summit. <laughs> 2900. Whew. Probably a pretty nice sunset. All right, that's a funky tree. It grows up <laughs> and then poof. And also has a shoot off. That's a that's funky. Um, anyway, that's those are the giant. That's the rock we we're on top of for all the views. And now we start the real descent. And uh, you probably won't see me again until it's time to set up. Time to set up shop because it's uh, six thirty or even closer to seven. And so I gotta boogie boogie. It's getting dark. But, I think of this river. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. There's some, uh, huh, some camping. I guess the trail goes that way, I think. Can't tell. But, uh, looks like could, uh, do some tenting right here. <laughs> 